Hey, what's up guys? This is my video review on the Madako Switch for the HTC One, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so basically what the Madako Switch is, is that this allows you to switch between the Google, the Google Play Edition ROM and also the Sense 5 ROM. So, how easy is this? Well, you see, I am on the Google Play Edition ROM, see with Android 4.2.2, and it's just stock Android. But, if you go into your app drawer, what you can actually do is that there is an app called Switch, which it's easier to see on the Google Play Edition. But, all you do is tap it, and it asks you, do you want to switch to the Sense ROM? And we're going to go ahead and hit yes. Now, this is pretty neat, because whatever apps you install on the GP ROM, it actually goes over to the Sense ROM. And you can also have Root, of course, and I, I use Titanium Backup to restore all my apps, but if you install, say you install um, Minecraft on the Google Play Edition ROM, it will also be there on the Sense ROM. So also say that you play some Asphalt 7, or Need for Speed, and you get past one of the, a certain race, you don't have to actually back up with Titanium Backup and then restore it in another ROM. It will transfer across, which is pretty neat. Now, the launchers, since I am using no Nova Launcher on the Google Play Edition ROM, um, I had that set as my default, but on the Sense ROM, I have HTC Sense Launcher. So those don't really keep, but all you have to do is select the default. Now, this is in beta, so keep that in mind. Although, I have not run into any bugs. They're, the known bugs are that picture messaging does not transfer between ROM to ROM but I don't really see how that's that big of an issue I mean if you save the picture then you still have it so and that is how sim simple it is to switch between the Google Play Edition and Sense all you hit all you have to do is hit that little switch and see if I hit it on the Sense version it'll ask me if I want to go to the Google Play Edition ROM so of course we can hit no and I can pull down settings and see everything that I have on my other Google Play Edition ROM is here as well. And you don't have to have a backup and restore it every time you want to go to a Sense ROM or anything like that. You can have both ROMs, data transfer between each. Now, what I would really love to see is this picked up by different ROM developers. Like, instead of the Google Play Edition ROM, maybe it has AOKP. And instead of the stock Sense ROM, maybe it has Viper ROM. So that's just something that I think would be pretty neat. But like I was saying, all of your data transfers over and I mean there's not really much to say about it. Besides it's easy. All you have to do is hit the switch. And also, if you go into your app drawer and if I go down to see so right here, there's also the switch up app. And this gives you your device name, it gives you the ROM that you're currently on, your ROM version, and the OTA updater. So if there are updates, you would just hit that. Of course there aren't any, but I'm saying if there are. And so let's go ahead and switch back to the Google Play Edition ROM. All right, and you see we are booted up, so I'm going to go ahead and unlock. Choose Nova Launcher. And because I chose the Sense Launcher on the other ROM, you see I have to choose a different launcher because it's not Sense. But, I mean, if you guys want to see anything else about this, I mean, all you have to do is install the Beta 1, and then you install the Beta 1 update to Beta 8 zip, and then I chose to install the root zip because I, I need root for my apps. And that's basically it. If you guys do need an install video, leave a comment below and I'll try to get on that. But um, if you guys need to know anything else, just let me know and I'll try to cover that. But if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up because it does help me out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next video.